Waukegan was first visited by Pierre Marquette in 1673 and is one of the oldest communities in Illinois. Crowds began to flock to Waukegan as railroads and industry created job opportunities downtown. Because of the rising population and as part of a nationwide public school initiative, Waukegan School District 60 was formed. Waukegan residents began a school system for their children in the mid-1800s. As the decades passed, the city continued to grow. In the 1920s, Waukegan population doubled, gaining 10,774 people, increasing the total number of residents to 27,715. As the community grew, more schools were built. Men and women of all ages were attracted by the various course offerings and school activities. The classes at Waukegan were designed to help students and future generations to improve themselves in ways they could apply at home or while working. They also allowed them to earn credits, which enabled them to complete requirements for a high school diploma. The high school maintained student health, physical fitness, and required them to participate in activities that created interest to develop and complete to their ability. Also, the classroom instruction was designed to develop good study habits, positive attitudes, and an understanding to proceed to a happy, successful life after high school. The community embraced the school in the early 20th century. There was always something going on. If not a game, it was a penny carnival or a W club dress of dance in the gym. Football, basketball, track, ROTC, gymnastics, and possibly any club that comes to mind could be found at Waukegan High. Back then and to this day, we involve ourselves in these activities. By all the success gained to show local fans in the community that Waukegan Township High School had good material and had encouraged the community to participate and get involved as much as the participants. What I think about the high, okay, high school is really, really ghetto, and it's really only Mexicans, Latinos, and black people mixed, and if they see, you know, white, they wouldn't like that. Like many people on the outside, they view it like, because this is so damaged, like, the inside of it, the kids here, they don't know how to treat nothing with respect. As time passed, Waukegan High School's image took a negative turn and people's perception changed. WHS began to receive bad publicity in the 1960s. Waukegan High School was making headlines with breaking news. The city experienced all of the problems America had due to its changing demographics. Racial tension had hit Waukegan as well. On October 30, 1972, Waukegan's newspaper reported an incident in which 30 students received suspensions. Police and administration searched school grounds due to a racial disturbance involving high school students. Teachers had been hurt and a Caucasian freshman was found as a lead suspect in the laceration of an African American student's skull. This led to a hundred African American students to congregate around Waukegan High School after the altercation had taken place as the tension mounted. This front page story was not any good for Waukegan Township High School's image. Later in 1974, WHS was back on the map, this time for a case in which students were found abusing illegal substances. It was a sign of the times. The 60s and 70s was the era of the hippies. The issues of the civil rights and youth movements in America unfolded at Waukegan High School and captured the community's focus. While some people in surrounding communities might have been blind to the idea of these things going on nationally or at any other school, but it seemed that Waukegan was the only city making headlines for it. During the 70s, huge budget cuts occurred at Waukegan High School and the school lost more than $600,000 in funding, causing the learning system to be diluted. As budget cuts hit every area of the school, discipline issues also spiked up in Waukegan. Students seemed to be lacking discipline at the high school. This became a school board issue that was never fully resolved and is still visual in the headlines today. Waukegan High School had gone through a drastic change 
moving from a trusted school to people starting to doubt and overemphasize the negatives at Waukegan High School. Waukegan's fall reputation has lingered. Around the 1980s, demographics changed again and Waukegan began a trend of diversity. Asians, Middle Easterners, African Americans, and Hispanics began to populate the city. When the nationwide recession of the 1980s hit, factory jobs were lost, and many of the upper class and middle classes families fled Waukegan and minorities took their place. Waukegan was going through a cultural shock. All of these new cultures brought positive ideas to the high school, but few were being reported as positives. Waukegan was out to prove that there were positives beyond what the headlines posted. By the 1990s, WHS continued fighting this perception because as Waukegan High School says, always forward, never backwards. We get a bad rap. Um, people see the bad things, which there are bad things, gang problems, drugs, um, fights, uh, and they kind of think all of Waukegan High School is that way. And they don't see the positive things a lot of times. We don't tout uh, things like the Schuler program, things like the College Studies program, uh, JROTC. Uh, so there are a lot of good things going on in Waukegan that they're kind of colored over by some of the bad things, a few bad things that happen. Education remains a strength at Wakiana High School. The National Honor Society program is well known in our high school. It began in 1936. It traditionally recognizes the achievements of its outstanding students. Membership in NHS is highly selective. It is limited to those students who exhibit the four qualities, which are scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Wakegan High School has very talented people with a bright future. In 1989, Wakegan High School had five valedictorians. They all scored A's in their core classes all four years. Some of that year's graduating class attended Harvard, Northwestern University, and Marquette University. Wakegan test scores are improving through a new computerized program established in 2008 called Math Testing, which will enable a teacher to see the strengths and weaknesses of a student. In 2009, Stanford welcomed three Wakian seniors more than any other high school in Illinois. Thanks to the Schuler Family Foundation, these students were able to prepare ahead of time for college through guidance, enrichment activities, and scholarships given. Schuler has benefited Wakian High in the upbringing of more opportunities for college search. It has also been able to encourage the school to offer more AP courses. Schuler has also helped get their scholars into the top colleges in the country. Our music department is one of the best in the state. It is ranked 13th and it is breaking into the top 10. Not only is education and extracurriculars valued in Waukegan High, but sports are just as important. Lots of unrecognized sports are now beginning to grow from many students that partake in these after school activities. Sports such as badminton, tennis, golf, and swimming have recently gained tremendous recognition. Other sports such as cross country, track, cheer, soccer, and ROTC drill teams have made it into major divisions of the IHSA. The Bulldogs basketball team made the most impact in the school and the community. The team made state two years in a row. In the games, great pride is shown by the fans. Students, parents, faculty, and alumni come together to support them. Waukegan High has a rich history with ups and downs. People too often focus on the negative instead of the positive attributes that the school has to offer. From the early days where the high school was praised by the community, to the struggles of the 70s, to now, Waukegan has surpassed them all and will continue to save its name and show its true colors.